starts out by referring to all the things the Lord God has done for us. It then says, I can't even add them up. One, two, three, up to infinity. Let's put this into context. All of us made it to Greensboro safely. We have clothes on our backs and all of us amazing athletes have made it to the highest level of competitive swimming possible in YMCA. The song goes on to say, God, I am still counting my blessings. All that you've done in my life, the more that I look in the details, the more of your goodness I find. I've been competing as a swimmer since age seven, and most of you could probably say the same. But I will tell you one thing, there has been so many times during meets that I've turned to him for strength, peace, and guidance. The more that I look in the details the, these past 12 years in this demanding sport, the more I find his goodness through it all. The song goes on to say, I know that I'll run out of time, but if I keep counting my blessings, a lot of this sport is about time, reaction time, negative splits, intervals, and seat times. I know that if I started counting my blessings, I would definitely run out of time, knowing that I can't ever count that high. As we close, please bow your heads and pray with me. God, I know very well that these seasons of life never last forever. So help us to remember all of the reasons we have to be grateful for and all the times you have been faithful to us. In Jesus' name, amen. That was beautiful, Madeline. Thank you. Thank you so much, Madeline Fry from Bloomsburg. At this time, we have a special group from our YMCA of Virginia Blue Ridge, Riley, Jacob, Jaron, Connor, and Joe, who will sing for us this morning in honor of our country and those that serve to protect it, our national anthem. All right, everybody, if you know the words, sing along. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hail at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the about those guys from Virginia's Blue Ridge Y. We have a few other recognitions. I know you've been enjoying this slideshow. It's always a little bittersweet. But when you take in that senior slideshow, you have to remember, as parents and spectators, grandparents, aunts, uncle, family members, the accomplishments of our seniors. If you're a senior and you're on deck, I'd ask that you please step up to the edge of the pool. Don't fall in. Please step up if you're a senior to the edge of the pool. You go around, go around, step up to the edge, get on the inside of the fence. It's okay. Go ahead. If you are a senior, seniors, please step up. Again, family members. It's been a journey. Whether you've been here one year or they've been swimming for what, 12, 13 years, some of them, 14 years. Now they're graduating. Now some of the decisions in this world and this life 
that their experience will be made by them. Some will be going off to colleges. Some will be going into a job right away. I can't thank our seniors enough for showing some exemplary characteristics, not just hard work, but all of our character values. And ladies and gentlemen, I'm gonna ask you once again, if you're able to please rise and give them a great big hug and a round of applause. And I want our seniors to turn and give them a wave. Seniors, give them a wave. Show them you appreciate them. Turn around over there on the other side. Give them a wave. We wish you all the best as you now journey through the rest of your senior year in whatever schooling you're going through now and on to the, your next journey. So. Thank you, seniors. We truly appreciate your involvement and the parents and their families and coaches also. I'd like to next, you may step down now. Thank you. Once again, that slideshow, we really appreciate the effort of our volunteers putting that together, namely Bob Turner, our meet director. He spends a lot of hours getting that together. So congratulations and thank you, Bob Turner. The YMCA Uni uh, USA Competitive Swimming and Diving 2024 Adolph Kiefer Youth Character Awards. As part of the WISE commitment to strengthen community through youth development, healthy living, and social responsibility, the YMCA USA and Adolph Kiefer family selected from submitted candidates, two individuals this year as the Adolph Kiefer YMCA Character Award recipients. Adolph Kiefer Character Award recognizes Y swimmers for their excellence in academic achievement and commitment to healthy living social responsibility through YMCA competitive swimming. The selected individuals will be granted, and then, uh, this is a process where they submit 2,500 hours, 2,500 hours each to be issued directly in the athlete's institution for higher learning. This year, we have two, as I mentioned, I would like to recognize Kate Ryan. Kate is a senior at Mount Notre Dame High School in Cincinnati, Ohio. You may recognize her, she gave a tremendous motivating reflection this week. And she swims with the Pal Crosley Junior Tiger Sharks. Kate is involved with her broader community in Cincinnati. She volunteers with the Community Parks Group, beautifying the community and the park system. She is a peer leader for her school student development retreats and participates in service trips through campus ministry. Kate has also participated in support of an orphanage in El Salvador where she worked with young children, helping them to adjust to their lives. She'll be attending Bellarmine University, where she'll be a night this fall. So put your hands together for Kate Ryan. Our second recipient this year is Elizabeth Fleener. She has a passion for swimming and teaching others to swim. She teaches children through the YMCA of Virginia's Blue Ridge Swim Lesson Program, Summer Camp Programs, and the Y Water, Water Safety Program. She helped to establish a big or little sister program for the swim team to help older swimmers mentor young girls on the team. She loves playing and coaching soccer as well. Eliza truly embodies the Y values of caring, honesty, respect, and responsibility. She is committed to serving others and creating the same transformative 
experience for others that she was able to have through the YMCA. Congratulations, Elizabeth Fleener and Kate Ryan. Put your hands together, ladies and gentlemen. I think we're gonna do a little fan face-off as we have a couple of minutes to go. So let's see who's up there in our stands. Since it is Throwback Thursday, we're gonna go with a little Earth, Wind and Fire this morning. Where are they? Our fan dance off. Are you ready? Day number three. Are you ready, swim fans? Charles Boyertown coach to the time Charles. All righty, I think we are ready for some fast swimming this morning. Day number three. First event, the men's 100-yard backstroke championship record 46-24. Brendan Burns. He also holds a national record with that time from Upper Main Line. There'll be 18 heats. This will be heat number one. Uh, Mr. Referee. And on the women's course, women's 100-yard backstroke, championship and national record 51-21 set here last year. Leah Shackley from Blair, Pennsylvania. 14 heats in total. This will be heat number one, Mr. Referee. Fifty-two twenty-one on the men's side for Barker from Champaign.
And 5901 uh, for Norland. And Casey Freeman finishing up. She, tremendous athlete in our para games, representing the USA, Paralympian. Great swim. And on the men's side, it's Court Van Velzer going 51.99. Pretty good swim right there for Evan Van Velzer, the Wilton Y Wahoos. Top time so far. And heat number three on the men's side of 18 now in the water. On the women's side, heat number three of 14. Top time so far, Quinn Norlander, Birmingham at 59.01 on the women's side. 51.99, Evan Van Velzer through two heats has your top time on the men's side. What it take to get into the nighttime swims last year? On the women's side, you had to go 55.28 to get in to the A final. Get into the B final last year, 56-48, and into the C final, 57-10. On the men's side, championship final was a 48-37 to get in, 50-19 to get into the B final, 51-03 to get into the C final last year. And Schroeder going 57-72 on the women's side. That is your top time so far.
into one or both courses, men and women. Heat number four. For Kramer on the men's side out 23 97. Uh, Jacob Kramer. And on the women's side, that's Leon. 28.08. Here comes Graber. He'll be a big swim at a 50.90. Top time so far. Number five in on each course. Kramer, your top time so far through four heats at 50.90. And on the women's side, a 57.72 for Audrey Schroeder from Upper Main Line. He goes 52-76. Evan Yost from Wheeling. And on the men's side. So your top time, Jacob Kramer, heat number six in the water on the men's side and on the women's side. Your top time so far on the women's side, 57.39. Vanya Rojakovic from McGraw. Heat number seven for the women in the water. Your top time remains Vanya Ozakovic from McGraw at 57.39. It's a pretty good swim. Through six heats. And on the men's side, 50.90 for Jacob Gramer from Kiswaki. And 
that's 51-42 for Lily from Spartanburg. Heat eight in the water on the men's side, heat number eight on the women's side. Once again on the men's side, it took a 48-37 to get back into the championship final, 50.19, get into the B final in 51-03 last year to get into the C final. That's on the men's side. There we are. Canosa, he goes 52-36. A coach from Boyertown, coach from Boyertown to the time trial table, please. Coach from Boyertown, time trial table, please. Thank you. Heat nine on the men's side and on the women's side. In the water, 18 heats on the men's side, 14 on the women's side today. And Mimsy goes 53-11. Side. Heat number 10 in the water. Top time still is 50.90. Jacob Kramer from Kishwaukee. Over on the women's side, Sophie Prairie out of heat number 9 just went a 57.35. So unofficially, she's your leader on the deck from Yoda. Heat number 10 for the women in the water.
Finishing up on the women's side. Sujak goes 56-52. Now on the women's side, Sarah Zierjack unofficially 56-52 is your leader on the deck from Piedmont. Heat number 11 for the ladies in the water. And on the men's side, heat number 11. Just finishing up at a 51-71. For Alex Mora, Axel Mori. Quick reminder, please refrain from using flash photography in the natatorium. Please do not use flash photography in the natatorium. Thank you. And in the water, finishing up as the first of our three circle seated heats for the women. Heat number 12, center of the pool, Alyssa Clapburn. And she goes 53-77, your new leader on the deck, followed up by Maggie Dickinson. Clapburn was 13th in this event last year, Dickinson 19th last year. 53-77, your new top time. Second of our three circle seated heats for the women in the water. Claire Logan, fourth in this event last year, is in lane number four. She was 12th in the two back. Devin Sargent, she won the two back last night, seventh last year in this event, in five. And over on the men's side, we have a new leader on the deck, Riley Rohn from Greater Spartanburg. He just went 50.75. And as we move here to the finish, it is Sargent going 53.75 to 100 quicker than Clapborn.
Final heat, third of our three circle seated heat. Sheet number 14 to 14 for the women's hunter back in the water. And there's Williams, Aiden Williams going 50.29 on the men's side. He is now unofficially your new leader on the deck. Out of heat number 14, heat 15 in the men's side is in the water. And all the women. On the women's side, Atlanta Berlin, second in this event last year. Next to her was Ksenia Lunishina. And she was 17th last year. And there's a 52-44 for Berlin. So she should be able to hold down the top seed going into tonight unofficially. Great swim, ladies. Put your hands together for those women's backstrokers, ladies and gentlemen. Great job. Our next event on the women's side, the 400-yard individual medley, your championship and national record set back in 2015, Megan Small from York, Pennsylvania, 403.96, seven heats in total. This will be heat number one, Mr. Referee. So on the men's side, first of our three circle CD heats. Time to beat. Noah Powers just went 50.13 for wilkes barre out of the previous heat, heat number 15. This is heat 16, first of our three circle seated heats. Center of the pool, Garrett Gould. He won the 100 fly last night. He was fourth in this event last year. Next to him, Hayden Myers. He was 23rd in this event. Gould out in 23.03 right now. Hayden Myers won the 200 back last night. Center of the pool. So Gould from Somerset County. Myers from Emmy Lyons. Pretty tight coming up to the finish here in this first heat. And it is Gould at a 48.52, followed by Kennedy and Myers. So your top time so far, Garrett Gould, 48.52 from Greater Somerset County. In the water, second of our three circle seated heats, heat number 17 of 18. Center of the pool, Kenny Barnacle from Greater Somerset County, was fifth in this event last year. He was second in the two back last night. Luke Lamb, 26th last year in this event. Eighth in the two back last night from Schneider. So Barnacle looking pretty strong going out. Barnacle comes in seated at a 47-41. Time to be right now 48-52. Wow. And Barnacle goes 47-71. Pretty good swim here on day number three.
And our final heat. Heat number 18 of 18, third by three circle seated heats is in the water for the men. Center of the pool, he was second in this event last year, fourth in the two back last night. But he went one, I'm sorry, ninth in the two back last night. He won 142.85 last night in that event. That's Sam Lorenz from Schrader. 22.37 going out on national record pace for Sam Lorenz. Spot on, 22.37, that's what Brendan Burns did. We'll see what he does this morning, how he's feeling. Eckler's in five, he was 11th at his event, Johnson in three. 47.27, 29, I'm sorry, 47.29 for Sam Lorenz. We'll see him hold down lane number four unofficially tonight. Our next event on the men's course. 400 yard individual medley. Your championship and national record set back in 2019. Matt Fallon from Somerset Valley, 344.08. 10 heats in total. This will be heat number one, Madam Referee. Actually, I believe that's a Mr. Referee. My apologies, Ted. So heat number one for the men, 400 IM in the water. Over on the women's side, out of heat number one, Sedona King from Piedmont, 13 years old, went 432. 50, that's just out beside the line from last year's C final. A pretty good swim for the 13 year old out of heat number one. Once again, we'd like to welcome those who are watching our live stream at home on Take It Live. Just a full configuration on the women's side. Lane number one is at the bottom of your screen, lane number eight up top. And on the men's side, lane number one is at the top of your screen, lane number eight at the bottom. So welcome to all you who are watching here in Greensboro. This is the 400-yard individual medley on the men's side. It's heat number one. And on the women's side, heat number two. Your top time on the women's side is 432.50. Sedona King from Piedmont. Here are your preliminary results from the women's 100 backstroke. Eligible to swim in the D-final tonight. Actually, alternates for the D-final tonight. 
Berlin and Meehan. Eligible to win tonight's D final. McKayer, Spellman, Chesley, Meyer, Kozakovic, Hinson, Stalfort, and Hamer. Your alternates for the C final. Wojcicic and Gojakovic. Eligibles for tonight's C final for the women's 100 backstroke. Perry, Ziner, O'Toole, Huell, Wenzel, Fox, Meyer, Angelic. Eligibles for tonight's consolation final for the women's 100 back. Potensic, Way, Cohen, Pilger, Sluck, Kizeki, Searjack, Baker. And your championship finalist, Beam, Rusalkis, Logan, Luniashina, Dickinson, Claiborne, Sargent, and Berlin. The time is 9.34. You have 30 minutes to declare your attention to scratch. And over on the women's side, Grace Hunt, she just went 4.30.70, so she unofficially has your top time on the deck. Finn McEnroe on the men's side, 4.10.34 from Greater Spartanburg. Their leader after one heat on the men's side. Two now in on the men's side, heat three on the women's side. Preliminary results from the men's 100-yard backstroke. Your alternates for the D final, Clark and Bricker. Eligible to swim in tonight's D final for the men's 100 backstroke, Hill, Hidalgo, Van Belzer, Van Ehrman, Gotti, Burke, Fleming, and Torres. Your alternates for the C final, Kramer, Mayotte, Eligible to swim in tonight's C final on the men's 100 backstroke. Vance, Eisenhofer, Kirby, Tack, Williams, Helmuth, Jewett, and Rowan. Eligible to swim in tonight's consolation final for the men's 100 back. Stoltz, Graziano, Hoffman, Stebbins, Cole, Lapine, Beeson, and Powers. Championship finalists, men's 100 backstroke tonight. Myers, Lamb, Kennedy, Eckler, Gould, Barnacle, Johnson, and your top qualifier with a time of 47.29 seconds from Schrader, Sam Lorenz. Time is 9.36. You have 30 minutes to declare your attention to scratch. Jenna Nawaz we had from upper main line uh, leading through the breaststroke. And it looks like Dalton Brooks on the men's side.
from Lakeland Hills. Yeah, Brooks out 234, halfway through the breaststroke. And as the women transition into freestyle, the wise we had a 326.40, followed by Eldridge from Greater Monmouth. Championship bioforms are available at the announcer's table. Please stop over, fill one out before you leave this morning. Got a couple in already. Wow, that's Pocono in. And who is the other one? Schneider. Yeah, great job, Pocono and Schneider. A pretty good finish right here for Eldridge. She goes 428-64. Top time on the deck right now for Dylan Eldridge. And on the men's side, that's Dalton Brooks going 409 43, your leader on the deck unofficially. And over on the men's side, heat number three of ten in the water. Dalton Brooks leads the way right now. Fastest time at 4.09.43. On the women's side, Dylan Eldridge leads at 4.28.64 so far through three heats. Heat number four of seven in the water on the women's side. What did it take on the women's side last year to get back to the A final? You had to go 4.23.32. Into the B final last year, you were 429.72, and into the C final, 431.50. And over on the men's side, you had to go 4007 to get into the championship final last year. Into the B final last year, 40405, and into the C final, 406.28. Right now on the women's side, a couple, couple have cracked through that C final from last year, but we'll see how the rest of the field does. So Guild out 209.70 off the backstroke. AK Gill from Greensboro. The big lead here on the back. Down there in lane number seven. Hunter Kunzel from Greater Monmouth.
3108 for Welsh for Piedmont. On the men's side, Kunzel goes 404.98. Great swim right there for Hunter Kenzel. New leader on the deck, Greater Monmouth. So heat number four in the water on the men's side. Heat number five in the water on the women's side. Massad is in one, has it two. Hirschbrunner, has it was 19th in this event last year. Hirschbrunner in lane number three was 22nd last year. Falkomer in four was 54th last year. Bellissimo 44th last year. Pottinger 32nd last year. She's in six. Bellissimo in five. Marino, 41st last year, is in lane number seven, and McGinnis is in lane number eight. Time to beat so far, 428-64, Dylan Eldridge from Greater Monmouth. Coming up on our circle-seated heats on the women's side. Men's side, we have heat four of ten. Top time on the men's side, 404.98, Hunter Kunzel and Greater Monmouth. So McKenna Pottinger, as I mentioned, 32nd last year. She's out pretty nicely here in heat number five. See if she can hold up in the breaststroke. And Nehemiah Ree, your leader on the men's side. Ree from Wyckoff, New Jersey. Bodiger is still your leader halfway through the breaststroke. I'm trying to move up Bellissimo, Falcomer, and Hirschbrunner. Also up there is Hassett from Birmingham, Michigan. They're in lane number two. Well, Lucas Abt from Hunterdon County, now your leader on the men's side. Very strong breaststroke. Potiger still your leader from York here on the women's course. So I mentioned she was 32nd in this event last year, trying to swim her way back in. It did take a 429.72 to get back into the console final last year. Also moving up here in lane number seven, Josie Marino from Wyckoff, 41st last year. Uh, Marino, Pottinger, and then up there in lane number two, Hassett. Abt still your leader going into the freestyle on the men's side. Marina followed by Pottinger. 427.35. That is your fastest time so far on the deck.
Your time trial desk is closing in 10 minutes. 10 minutes. Then it'll be 10 o'clock. 10 a.m. time trial table closes. So on the women's side, I need heat number five. That was Josie Marino going 427.35, your unofficial leader on the deck. On the men's side, it was Lucas Ab. Now he is your unofficial leader on the deck at a 404.73. Heat number five in the water for the men of 10. First of our two circle seated heats for the women is in the water, heat number six. Shane is in one, 33rd last year, Jewett. In two, she was seventh in the two back last night. Barto, 11th in the two breaths last night, eighth in, the, in this event last year. Seated second coming in, second in this event last year. Lane number four is Hayden Penny, the second in the two back last night. Lane number five, Izzy Pfeiffer, 26th in this event last year, second in the thousand the other night from York. Billy Sherratt's in lane number six, 14th last year, ninth in the hunter fly. Well, last night from Family Scotch Plains, Cameron Smith, 21st last year, 10th in the two breasts last night from Piedmont. And in lane number eight, Serena Dickey, 57th in this event last year from Lakeland Hills. The Mahomans out on the men's side, 127.32, and if I do the back, So Hayden Penny, really a leader. As I mentioned, he was second in this event last year. 4.13.10 seed time. Saw Hayden pull up for the silver medal last night in the two back. So Mel Holman still trying to hold off the field now after that big backstroke play on the men's side. So Hayden Penny transitions into freestyle. So Penny at a 315-17 through the breaststroke. Penny being followed by Julia Barto from Cheshire, Connecticut. Having a good swim. Julia, eighth in this event, trying to get back to another final in the 4 a.m. So tightening it up on the men's side. Still Mel Homans. And here comes Hey Penny. She goes 4.17.04. But officially, she'll be your leader on the deck. Good swim by Barto and Sherratt also. And over on the men's side, Peter Zalewski at a heat number five is 408.72. Top time remains with Lucas App on the men's side. 
from Hunterton County to 404-73. Heat number six for the men in the water. Ten heats in total over there. On the women's side, final heat, heat number seven of seven, second of our two circle seated heats. Top time, Hayden and Penny so far, 417.04. Out of lane number one, 51st last year's Avelyn Walsh. Ninth last year's in lane number two, Sophia Youssef. In lane number three, fifth last year in this event, 10th to the two back last night, Erica Maltsev. Your top qualifier coming in is in lane number four, and she is our defending champion, and she did win the 100 fly last night from Greater Somerset County, Emily Thompson. Lane number five, she won the two breasts last night. She was 17th in this event last year. Molly Yako Viello from York and York County. Gabby Augustin from Chippewa Valley is in lane six. She was third in the two breasts, 16th in this event last year. Lane number seven, Mary Kupski, 35th last year from Wilkes-Barre. And Scout McQueen is in lane number eight, 45th in this event from Woodson. We'll see where 200-70 right now on the board for Thompson. Not too far off of where Megan was. Megan Small was at 158 at that point in an evening final. Legendary swim right there for Megan Small. Back in 2015 at 403. But Thompson is seated at a 408, so she's a strong breaster, a strong all-around competitor for Greater Somerset County. So Thompson followed by Yakoviello and Maltsev. Actually, Maltsev and then Yakoviello. We know Yakoviello has one of the stronger breasters, and she won the two breasts last night. Thompson, Yakoviello, and Maltsev. Keep it on our lane number six, Augustine. But Emily Thompson is going through a nice morning swim. Top time so far, 417. She'll be just under that at 416.43. So Emily Thompson unofficially all down lane number four tonight. Next to her will be Hayden Penny unofficially. Now Cabello finishes second and then Maltz at third in that heat. Our next event, the women's 200-yard freestyle. Championship and national record set back in 2022. Anna Mosh, Greater Somerset County, 144-10. 10. 10 heats in total. This will be heat number one, Mr. Referee.
Heat number six on the guy's side, that was Bobby Regan from Regional Y, Western Connecticut. Got to say hello to his brothers. They're probably working or doing some college work, things like that, maybe swimming. 40643 to the Regan family from Bobby Regan. Heat number seven of ten in the water for the men's 400 yard individual men lead. There's 10 heats in total. Top time so far over there is 404.73. Lucas Abd from Hunterdon County. On the women's side, heat number one of 10, 200 yard freestyle. It took last year to get into the championship final, 150.67. To get into the B final last year, 152.19. And to get back and swim in the C final last year, 152.67 on the women's side. Finishing up, that is Bikos at 154. Demetra Bikos, 154.43. And on the men's side, that's heat number seven of 10. 400 yard individual medley. Once again, uh, thanks for joining us on the live stream. We're on the men's side, lane number one at the top of your screen. On the women's side, lane number one is at the bottom of your screen. Heat two in the water for the women, two of 10. Women's 200 freestyle. Top time so far, 154.43. That's Demetra Bikos from Birmingham. This battle center of the pool, Constable and Wolf on the women's side. And on the men's side, uh, lane number four, Oliver Stahl from Greater Spartanburg. Top time so far, 404.73 on the men's side. And that's Jesse Wolf from Wyckoff, New Jersey. Pretty big swim right there for Oliver Stahl. Going 401.85, he now has your new top time. So 401.85 for Oliver Stahl from Greater Spartanburg. The water on the men's side after Oliver Stoll, 40185. Is he number eight? 400 yard individual medley. On the women's side, your top time, Jesse Wolf from Wyckoff after two heats. Heat number three is in the water. 
Time trial site sheets are posted. Please check your entries. Time trial site sheets are posted. Please check your entries. Thank you. So finishing up on the women's two free. Out of lane number three, that looks like Audrey Schroeder. We saw her earlier, event before she did a great job. And here she is again at 154.74. Nice swim for Audrey Schroeder. number four for the women's two free in the water. Here are your preliminary results for the women's 400 yard individual medley. Your alternates for the D final, Sang and Osada. Eligible to swim in tonight's D final, Siddal, Burns, Gill, King, McCann, McQueen, Curtis, and Hine. Your alternates are McCann and Byers. Eligible to swim in tonight's C final, Ladd, Welsh, Hunt, Dickey, Hirschbrunner, Bellissimo, McGinnis, and Falcomer. Eligible to swim in tonight's consolation final for the women's 4IM. Yusuf, Walsh, Eldridge, Hassett, Marino, Pottinger, Smith, and Nawaswiat. And eligible to swim in tonight's championship final for the women's 4IM. Pfeiffer, Sherratt, Augustin, Maltsev, Bardo, Jaco Viello, Penny, and your top qualifier with the time of 416.43 from Greater Somerset County, Emily Thompson. The time is 10.07. You have 30 minutes to declare your intentions to scratch. As these gentlemen work their way through the breaststroke, Wade Pyle, your leader there, 306.26. I'm sorry, Edmondson at 306.26. Nice swim for the ladies, 155.03 for Bright. Eli Edmondson trying to hold off the rest of the field here on the freestyle leg. All the way down there in lane number eight. Time to beat 401.85 so far. Oliver Stull from Spartanburg out of the previous heat. And it will be out of lane number four. Nawaswiat coming in at 403. Otherwise, we have a 44th last year in this event, 21st in the two back last night. On the women's side, heat number five of ten is in the water. Top time so far, Jesse Wolf is still holding up at 154.22. And on the men's side, first of our two circle seated heats is in the water. Top time so far, Oliver Stahl, 401.85. Out of lane number one, heat number nine, Will Charlton. Lane number two, 25th last year, A.J. Farner. Lane number three, Owen Markowitz, seventh last year, fourth of the two breasts. Lane number four, Tyler Quarterman. 
third last year, fourth to the two back. Lane number five, third in the 100 fly last night, John Rusnock. Lane number six, 19th last year in this event, fifth in the two back last night, Alex Bauer. Lane number seven, Maddox Turnes, who was seventh in the 1,000 the other night, 30th in this event last year, and lane number eight, Ethan Lloyd. And that is your men's versus circle seeds. 152.98 for Lee. New leader on the deck on the women's side out of heat number five. And this is Isabel Lee going 152 92. Heat six in the water for the women. And over on the men's side, Tyler Quarterman. Halfway through it at 149. As I mentioned, Quarterman. Third in this event last year. But a big swim right now. So Quarterman was right on national record pace, but we know Matt Fallon back in the day and to this day as one of the fastest breaststrokes in the world. So we'll see what Tyler Quarterman can do here on this breast leg. And on the women's side, pretty good swim going on by Eva Tuvalakis from Greater Spartanburg. So Quarterman at 258.26. Nice silver 15297 by Tubalikis. Second fastest time so far. And on the women's side, this will be heat number seven of ten in the water. Fastest time so far, 152.92 is about Lee from Wyckoff. And over on the men's side, these guys working their way through, and they're finishing up at a 353.96 for Tyler Quarterman. And on the men's side, second of our two circle seated heat seat number 10 to 10. Time to be 353.96 for Tyler Quarterman out of the previous heat. And in lane number one, 14th in this event last year, Ricky Turbo Cassano. Lane number two is Braden Franklin, 15th last year. Caden Vaught is in lane number three, 11th last year, ninth to the two back last night. Angus McDonald, our top seed coming in. His fourth in this event last year, second in the two breaths last night. Ruby Kupski from Wilkes-Barre, he's in lane number five, sixth in this event last year, 20th in the two back. Lane number six, Isaac Carr, eighth last year. And on the women's side, 
Spets goes 152-48. And on the women's side, the 152.48, your fastest time so far, Cora Spets. From Pal Crosley Jr. to Tiger Sharks. And finishing up on the men's heat number 10 intros, Isaac Cars in lane number 6, 8th last year, Tristan Ronane. Seventh in the, I'm sorry, lane 7, he was 35th last year in this event from Ridley. And in lane number eight, 29th last year, Jack Hensley. The Ronin. Renina did finish seventh in the two back last night also. First of our three circle seated heats in the water for the women's two free. Center of the pool, Colleen Bull was sixth in this event last year from Greater Somerset County, 26 in the fly. Kenzie Padilla right next to her, eighth in this event last year, six in the fly. Pretty much even uh, through the 150 mark, only 2,600 separating Bull and Padilla on the women's two free. When Nikki is in third through the 150. Time to beat so far, 152.48 on the women's side. Cora Spence. And here comes Colleen Bull. And she goes 149.52. Pretty good swim right there. Nice morning swim for Colleen Bull. And on the men's side. Pretty good swim right here. Looks like Wooby. And it will be 355 for Wooby Kupski from Wooksbury, Pennsylvania. 355. This will be your second fastest time. Followed by Angus McDonald and Brayden Franklin. Second about two circle seated, or three circle seated heats into water for the women's freestyle. As I mentioned, Kate Murray, lane number four, was fourth in this event last year, fifth in the hunter fly. Annie Dickinson, 27th in this event last year, ninth in the two back last night. So a big swim here for the young lady from Westport, Connecticut. Little 150 to 119. Next up on the men's course, 200-yard freestyle championship record, Brendan Whitfield. Set 2023, 133.97 national record, 132.46 by Thomas Heilman in Piedmont. 14 heats in total, heat number one, Mr. Referee.
So on the men's side, heat number one of 14 in the water, 200 yards freestyle. On the women's side, third of our three circle seated heats. Center of the pool is Anna Mosh. She is our defending champion. Two times, she won this in 2022 and 2023, and is our national record holder. Katie Lawrence next to her, seventh in the event last year, eighth in the two back. Most was third in the hunter fly last night. The Beach Virginia Cavalier is coming fall. Oh, most easily out to 119.72 for Anna Mosh. Katie Lawrence next to her in lane five. Mia Hatzis, 24th last year in this event. She's in lane six. Elodie Mitchell did a great job with the national anthem last night with the, on the violin, 34th in this event last year. Oh, most, he goes 146.96. Pretty good swim right there. She'll be your top seed going into the night. On the women's course, the time is now 10.23. It's a 15-minute break, 15-minute break. We'll resume, if my math is correct, at 10.38. 10.38 for the relays. That'll be our resumption time. 10.38 a.m. for the women's 200 freestyle relays. And over on the men's side, Heat number two of 14 in the water. Don't forget your championship bio forms. There, if you haven't filled one out, you know you're in the top eight, please stop by the announcer's table, pick up a championship bio form, fill it out, and return it to me this morning. Thank you so much. Levi Pretty from Parkersburg. Pretty big swim going on right now out of heat number two, 144.76. Angie Jiang from Auglaise Mercer, your leader on the deck unofficially. And there's a 142.96 for Levi Pretty. So heat number three of 14, men's 200 freestyle in the water. What did it take to get back last year for the men in the 200 free? 
eighth place last year to get into the championship final, you had to be 139.10. 16th place to get into the B final last year, you had to be 141.07. And to get into the C final last year, you had to be 141.58. Those are your top 24 last year, those cut times. See what we do this year. Women's course is open for a warm up, warm down if needed. Feet first entries only. A pretty good swim going on here in lane number seven. Kyle Dripcheck from Fanwood Scotch Plains. And he's 143.12. Nice swim for Kyle. Top time remains 142.96, so Levi Pretty, Parkersburg. side heat four of 14 in the water the women's course is available for general warm-up feet first entries only general warm-up for the women's course that is available preliminary results in the men's 400 yard individual medley eligible to swim as I'm sorry alternates for the D final or as Rip and Korzianowski D finalist Ree, Rice, Brooks, Charlton, Ruffer, Alejandro, McEnroe, and Huddle. Alternates for the seed final. Ferrioli and Oregon. Eligible to swim tonight's C final. Ballard, Abd, Kunzel, Lloyd, Turby, Cassano, Zhu, Wright, and Farner. Eligible to swim in tonight's Consolation final, Pyle, Hensley, Edmondson, Fada, Stoll, Nawozwiak, Carr, and Ronain. Eligible to swim in tonight's championship final for the men's 400 yard individual medley. Franklin, Turnes, Bauer, McDonald, Rusnak, Markowitz, Kupski, and your top qualifier with the time of 353.96 seconds from Boise, Idaho, Tyler Quarterman. Time is 10.29. You have 30 minutes to declare your intentions to scratch. And there's a 142.87. On the men's side. New fastest time. So Sam Sperling from Upper Main Line, now your leader on the deck through four heats, unofficially on the men's 200 freestyle. He went 142.87. Heat number five of 14 in the water, men's 200 freestyle. Once again, we'll be starting the women's 200 free relays at 10.38, 10.38. So about eight minutes, we'll get those underway on the women's course. How we doing up there, swim fans? Section number four, how are you? You don't look too enthused, are you? Section four, you should know where you are. It's on your ticket, right? Check your tickets, your seat number.
So a quick update, we will start the relays on the women's side at 10.40, so eight minutes, eight minutes, 10.40 will be your start time for the relays. I'd like to go with the even whole numbers. Is that a whole number? 40? Nice swim going on the center of the pool. On the men's side. Once again, Wade Chandry, 142.34 is your top time so far. You could fit out at 115.22. In heat number six. Seven minutes before we start the relays on the women's course. You won uh, 39 for Yukvid, your new leader on the deck unofficially. Course, heat number seven of 14 on the men's course with 200 freestyle. Your top time so far, Gregory Yukvig from Greater Somerset County, unofficially 141.39. Six minutes before relay time on the women's side. Six minutes. Miyota out first, 115, comes in on 143.62, time to beat right now, 141.39. Sutherland from Yoda, we just over that. And a 142.89, nice swim. Ten forty. We'll get started on the women's course with the relays. Heat number eight of fourteen in the water on the men's course. Two hundred freestyle.
And Tyler goes 143 21. Nice swim. It's relay time on the women's course. Women's 200 yard freestyle relay, your championship record, 130-177. That is also your national record, Greater Somerset County in 2022. Seven heats in total. This will be heat number one, Mr. Referee. And over on the men's course, heat number nine of 14 in the water. 141.39, your fastest time so far, Gregory Eukvid, Greater Somerset County. A pretty good swim there on the men's side. A 141.96 Michael Granite. Heat number 10 is in the water for the men of 14. This is heat one on the women's side. 200 freestyle. Early leader Jackson, Ohio. There, 49.83. So Madison and Jackson now moving up Springfield, Ohio. Osbus out in 48 on the men's side. Pretty good swim right here. And it is 140 double zero for Jackson. We need a coach from Hamilton, 
and coach from Woodson to the administration room, please. Hamilton and Woodson to the administration room, please. Once again, a coach from Hamilton, a coach from Woodson to the admin room, please. So over on the men's side, heat number 11 in the water. Darren Osbus went 141.05 unofficially, your leader on the deck out of heat number 10. And on the women's side, heat number two of seven. Women's 200 free relay is in the water. Pretty tight field. De La Rosa, and bringing him in at 114.14 for Chambersburg, Pennsylvania. Moving up down east. And it'll be down east. They got 138.28. Fastest time so far. And over on the men's side, Trevor Olson from Lancaster he goes 140.94. Your new leader on the deck, first of our th three circle seated heats is in the water. Damian Saratorsky, Cheshire at center of the pool, he was seventh last year. Chase Grissy, 77th last year, is in lane number five, 23rd on Hunter Fly. And on the women's side, 138.28 is your top time so far. This is heat number three of seven. So McCraw, they're at 113.61 right now. Pretty close finish on the women's side, and it will be Birmingham. They go 138.41. Nice finish. Side, heat number four of seven in order. Time to beat so far. 138-28 down east out of heat number two. Heat number two, I'm sorry, second of a three circle seated heats for the men's 200 free now in the water. Heat number 13, Charlie Rennert, 17th and 100 flies in lane three. Jack Sullivan was fourth in this event last year. He's in lane four. Jack Mills, 18th last year in this event from Lynchburg is in lane number five. Well, heat four on the women's side. Well, the two free relay. Yoda, now your leader. And Sullivan out 46.96 on the men's side for Schrader.
Original Y Western Connecticut goes 137.44. New leader on the deck. Unofficially. Number four on the men's side, Sullivan. He goes So on the women's side, heat number five of seven, first of our three circle seated heats in the water. Top time so far, 137.44 Western Regional, Regional Y Western Connecticut. On the men's side, heat number 14 of 14 in the water. Now first is Will Brown. He was third in this event last year, seventh in the hunter fly. Next to him is Kessler, Preston Kessler from Indiana County, 16th last year, eighth in the hunter fly last night. J.C. Gordon's in lane six. He was second in the thousand the other night. The women are out here in lane number four. Oh, York and York County, your leader here in heat number five. Nice swim there, 134-30-23 by York, your new leader on the deck. Well, Will Brown bringing it home. On the men's 200 up there, lane number one, also Ethan Shutton. 38.71 for Will Brown. We'll have those results momentarily. There'll be a 15 minute break before the relay. That'll start approximately 11.05. 11.05 on the men's course for the two free relays. Side, second of our three circle seated heats. Heat number six is seven. Center to pull Schrader and then Wyckoff. Well, next to them in lane number five. Top time so far 134 23 by York and New York County. Forty-six thirty-three for Schrader, followed by Wyckoff, and then Greater Monmouth. Once again, time to be one thirty-four twenty-three. Set on the previous heat by the York girls. Still Schrader, Wyckoff, and then Greater Monmouth.
on the women's side. Women's side, it's heat number seven of seven. Featuring your record holders, Greater Somerset County in lane number four. Time to beat 132.70, set in the previous heat by Schrader. Out first, out here in lane number eight, Racine, Wisconsin. 11.05, we'll start the men's two free relays, 11.05. Somerset County on 45-73. Only three one hundredths off of their national and meet record. Three one hundredths. We'll see where they are now. Final leg in. Less than a second off. Looks like Thompson in the pool. 132.70, time to beat. And they'll be in 132.94. Looks like they'll hold down lane number five against Schrader unofficially tonight. That concludes our prelim session on the women's course. We'll start our men's 200 free relays at 11.05. We'll have those results read momentarily for the two free and that freestyle relay.